Hi, good morning everyone. Rob with Health Sidekick. I wanted to take a second on permission of Noda Binge, which is one of our uh, members and somebody that I know, obviously, uh, but who has given me permission to go ahead and use her charts and to give you an idea of what it would look like for her, who's a woman, age 46, 5'9", and at this point 155 pounds. And I wanted to show you a couple of charts here. Number one, I wanted to show you her weight chart. So here's her weight chart, and we've talked, we've we've spoke about this descending triangle for some period of time. That this is typical weight loss. This pattern that you see right here is a is that looks like a descending triangle. This is it too, a little bit more prevalent. And you can see this kind of triangle formation, and then a breakout. Typically, what will happen is that you'll form another same type of pattern here. People call it a plateau but it's not really a plateau, it's actually a descending triangle ideally. That means that you're having uh, lower highs and, and uh, lower lows, right? That's what the idea of a descending triangle is. Uh, if you're sitting there in a plateau, chances are you're using another software. What I wanted to show you is here's the HSK prime number. It started out for this uh, member up around the above the 1300 level and as she lost weight, or as she didn't lose weight, i.e. in here, uh, let me go to a full screen, as she didn't lose weight, i.e. in here, uh, the HSK prime number continued to adjust based on the foods and activities she's doing to give her an accurate weight loss number so it could break her out of this descending triangle. And that's the whole thought process behind it. You can see that her calories burn, this is her net calories up here, you can see that in her net calories that it, her net calories have about stayed the same, but she made a slight adjustment as the HSK prime number continued to do it. This is a net calories consumed, and you can see that her total calories consumed, which is up here, this is before any workout, actually had a, night, had a little bit of a drop over the last period of time, but it was very slight. It wasn't, it, it's not like this massive uh, amount of uh, shift. It's 100 to 200 calories underneath her HSK prime number, but it's important to have that accurate number, first of all. You can see also that, for example, if she went on any other site, again, age 46, 5 feet, 9 inches tall, now at 155 pounds, uh, if you calculate this, you'll see that any other site, including Fitbit, MyFitnessPal, Lose It, and so forth, they would give her about 1,689 calories to eat. To, loot, to stay the same. It says to maintain your current weight. And that's set at the lowest activity level possible. So if you go to the lowest activity possible, which is little or no exercise, that's what you get. Even if you said you wanted to set it at the basal metabolic rate, which is the absolute lowest environment that you could possibly get, that means that you're, doing, you're basically laying uh, in your bed all day. It gives you 1,407. Again, we know the HSK prime number, for this member is actually sitting at 1172. And how do we know it's an accurate number? Well, we know this because if we go to her averages and we look over the last 60 days, we'll see that she ate 875. Over the last six months, we'll see that she ate 1,036, 1,400 gross calories, but 1,036, which translated into obviously this, this weight loss here. Uh, and if you if you calculate all that, obviously, if she's lost that over the last period of time, to say that she could eat, and let's go back to uh, the what you'll get on any other site, to think that it's going to be a possibility that she could eat 1,700 calories and get that kind of weight loss is not realistic. Here's the thing. With HSK, you may not like the answer you get when it comes to your overall caloric intake. I know for me personally, if I go on any other site, uh, you, you could I'll get uh, right around uh, 2,000 calories to eat. And I know that my HSK prime number is really 1,629. You may not like the answer that you get when it comes to your overall HSK, but at least it will be the truth. And then you can deal with that one way or another if you decide you want to continue to lose weight. Maybe you decide, hey, I want to stay where I'm in. But it'll be the truth about how much you can eat. Also, if, and if you want to take a look at another thing, for example, here's the Weight Watchers point, point, uh, point scale, excuse me, and you can go ahead and also check in here and see how much they would get. Here's the here's a uh, 155 pounds, 
Here's five feet, nine inches tall. And you'll get an idea. And remember that, uh, oops, this is uh, 69, uh, age 46. And let's say a female. And again, sitting most of the day, you can see that they get used the same type of tool. You'll see this tool over and over again. You'll even see it on our site. The difference is, is that after we start out with that point, then we move you into obviously uh, the HSK Prime, which continues to adjust as it impacts your weight. Here's a, it says your daily target is 26 pro points. Well, that's 2,600 calories almost when it comes to Weight Watchers. It's off as well. And, the, and all of us have used all these other sites and so forth. Again, you may not like the answer that you get when it comes to the HSK Prime number, but at least you're going to get an accurate number and all the bull crud that you hear from, uh, I, it's not all bull crud. There is some little bits of information, but the typical information that you get, oh, you got to eat this many calories, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to, it, 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 the, the HSK Prime number is an all-inclusive number specifically to you. So regardless of what everybody else does, it doesn't really matter because this is specific to how it impacts you. At least you'll have the truth about how much food you can eat and, and lose weight. Minus, obviously, the activity that you do. Our suggestion is, is to simply put in your extra activity you do. You don't have to wear a Fitbit. If you're going to wear a Fitbit, and that's how you choose to do your exercise, uh, if you want to do that for women, make uh, every, every 25 steps is equal to one calorie. So you can easily calculate that. And for every male, every 20 steps is equal to one calorie. So if I do 10,000 steps divided by 20 and so forth. So that's how you want to go ahead and uh, work that issue uh, with uh, your HSK Prime number. Anyhow, I hope that helps. And as I mentioned, as you can see, with other sites and so forth, people will go on these diets and then they stall and hit plateaus and then give up. Because frankly, let's face it, they can't, they, they can't eat as much as they think. And they, that, those sites aren't adjusting. Those sites are, the, the goals and so forth is to just keep you on those sites, keep you doing those diets. That's why a lot of diets say don't ever uh, weigh. Don't ever, you know, weigh once a month, weigh every twice a month because guess what? By not weighing every day and getting, remember, you want to always look at your average weight. Uh, that's the key thing. That's going to be real fat loss. The difference between average weight versus scale weight is usually anywhere from two to three pounds. Uh, you know, when you're when you're down 1.88 in your average weight, that's real fat. If you're down, for example, on your daily weigh-in, 3.3, that's pro that's more that's basically a scale weight. Uh, it's not the same. You're losing food. You're losing a lot of other things. Anyhow, I hope that helps.